morning I am headed to my facial appointment. My husband got me a gift card for Christmas. I think it's two two facials but I did the add-on for a diamond glow facial so this is gonna be my first time getting that and I'm super excited to see what that's gonna be like I'm kind of nervous because I don't know if it's gonna hurt but I'm gonna stop by Starbucks first and grab a coffee I don't have anything on my face right now so my skin feels super tight and as you can see my face is a lot lighter than my neck and body because of my spray tan but not only that but I also wear sunscreen like every single day on my face so my face is really really light okay that was a madhouse went through the drive-thru but uh, let's see if he got my order right I ordered a grande skinny vanilla latte so he asked me what I wanted and I said grande skinny vanilla latte iced and then he was like caramel latte ice and I was like no skinny vanilla he's like okay sorry I wasn't listening um, was it iced and then I had to repeat it again and when I looked at it on the screen it said caramel so let's see if he got it right okay it says sugar-free vanilla so hopefully it's right but if it's caramel I'm not even gonna be mad I guess I'll just take the extra calories the best sound in the world oh my god that is super sweet So I'm back from my facial my skin like do you guys see this oh my goodness I feel like I have baby skin I love it oh my gosh it looks so good so I can't wear makeup for two days at the risk of I think she said clogging my pores um so my experience with the facial I was a little nervous going in because I didn't know if it was going to be painful or not like it's actual diamonds that they use i did ask her because i didn't i didn't want to look at the little head of the machine that the tool that she was using because i didn't want to scare myself but while she was doing it i asked her if it's actual diamonds that they use and she said yes that it's like a like a pave diamond which is like um what my wedding band is it's kind of like a pave so it's like the really small diamonds and so they use that to i mean honestly like i don't even know exactly what it does but it did something because look at my skin you guys mm. i'm so like wow so this is gonna be a makeup free weekend and i don't mind because my skin is like i look like a baby my spray tan came off a little bit if you can see because it was like this part was really since my husband has neck tattoos and I don't know how he sat through that because she was barely like scraping with the tool here and she said that that's gonna make the neck look so much better like with uh, aging and stuff. So it did take off a little bit of my spray tan but I'm exfoliating it off today because tomorrow I'm gonna go get a new spray tan. Overall, it was a little uncomfortable. It was a little bit painful for me and I was so nervous going in because I didn't know if like it was gonna hurt a lot or if it was gonna hurt at all I read one article and she said that it wasn't uncomfortable at all which was a lie I don't know if I'm just sensitive or I'm a big baby but it was a little bit uncomfortable for me it wasn't like I wanted to cry but it was like I mean there it's like a suction thing and then like scraping but whatever whatever it did I'm very, very happy with the results. I love it. I'm supposed to go back in a month to get another facial because I have two gift cards. The Diamond Glow facial was not included in that. That was an add-on that I wanted to do. I needed to do a little bit spaced out from the Val Renewal because I didn't know how my skin would react. And I still need to see how my skin's going to react. But I didn't book my next one for a Diamond facial. I'm doing just a regular facial. And if I want to do this again, then we will. Hey guys, I just remembered that I told you guys that I would give you a review on the sauna thing that I did at the spa. Oh my gosh, it was amazing. I loved it. I'm obsessed. I'm definitely going to do it again. It's much different than the hydration station. So now I understand what they were saying when they said that it was that the hydration station was like a wet heat and then the sauna was a dry heat. So like when you get in the hydration station, it's like you're sitting in steam. And then when you get in the sauna, the infrared sauna, it is like getting into a giant heater. 
and it's awesome. Like, uh, they make you put on the big uh, plastic bag thing. It does make you sweat. I, I bought the, the stuff that they recommended. They said it makes you burn three times the calories. I did buy that, and I wanna try it next time without doing anything to see if I sweat the same. Because it kind of seems a little gimmicky, but I don't know, we'll try it. The hydration station was like 112 degrees, I think. And then the sauna got up to 180, they said. 180 degrees, which is crazy. I haven't lost any weight, but I only did it one time. And I try, like I said, to walk um, five days a week. Or like four days a week. And then do the sauna or the hydration station at least once a week. Because that's supposed to burn calories too. Hi. I'm just doing a quick video because I wanted to take a look at my makeup and see how I like it early in the morning. But as far as my makeup, I'm really tan and I think I like it. This is the double dark and it's actually been a couple days since I got tanned, but I wanted to pop on here and do a quick video of my makeup because I really like it and I feel like this might be what I'm going to do. I was gonna go with the smoky eye, but like I've been playing with my makeup literally all year. And I like the smoky eye, but every time I do my makeup like this, I feel like I like it a little more. So yeah, we'll see. Hi guys, how are you? I wanted to show you guys some of my latest. I've ordered a few things and I've been saving them so I can show you guys what I bought. In the last video, I told you guys that I was looking for some yoga pants. I decided to just go with the tried and true Victoria's Secret. We love the S, so that's what I went with. I, of course, I went with my classic black and pink color scheme. Ooh, and I got a $20 off. So I got a pair of panties for free because I had a special, like if you've purchase I don't know something you get a free panty that's my favorite ones I absolutely love these they are the no show hip hugger ones these are like the most comfortable underwear ever I love these they are so like they're very thin and they're stretchy and I freaking love these I think I got this one from pink from the pink section so these are leggings and I went with the medium Sometimes I feel like I'm a small, but I might not quite be a small. Uh, so I went with medium. And plus, I feel like the pink sizes are a little bit smaller too. So I got these. They look really cute. Oh my gosh, they have the little... Let me see if you can see. I don't know if you can, but they have this little like scrunch side. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. And then they say pink on the back. So cute. Okay, so this is the second pair that I got. Um, these are, no, I think these are the heart ones. There's a heart on the butt. Oh my God, so cute. We got the little VS logo. I love it. That is so cute. Adorable. I did not see that, I guess, on the on the website because they're black pants. So, and then this, so these have to be the high-waisted ones that have the pockets, which I love because who doesn't love pockets? I can carry my phone in there. I feel like... When I'm on vacation, I'm gonna, I wanna dress cute, but like I wanna be comfortable too. Like that's a big thing for me now is I wanna be comfortable. Oh, also, you gotta see these socks. They're so cute. Okay, so I got these from Pink also, and I think they were having a sale. It was like, buy one, get one half off, but that's how they usually wrote me in. Like I didn't need a second pair. So I just went with the one pair and they're so cute. They're pink socks, pink the brand pink and they have the little pink logo on them oh, they are so cute i am obsessed so like i want to wear you know my black leggings with my scrunch socks and maybe a white shirt and a hat and it's just gonna be so cute next 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 okay ulta i went to ulta the other day strictly because i saw that they had the shape tapes on sale for 15 dollars, and they're usually like 30 i think so I got a shape tape and then I saw this one on Instagram from the It Cosmetics. It was like an Instagram ad and it was like super full coverage and the girl looked awesome. So I got this um, and I have already tried it. It is really, really full coverage and I got the shade medium for both of them, but they're way different shade wise. So it's so weird because I tried this, the 
35 and medium on in the store and it looked really light and then when I got home it's also really weird because it has this like do you see that discoloration like it's kind of like orangey right here and then I've done everything I've tried to like mix it up and like it's not changing or anything yeah I got this and it looked light when I put it on my hand at the store and then like now when I wear it it's almost like I think I'm wearing it today it's not as light as I thought it was but it doesn't look bad like it looks it looks pretty good in my opinion oh, I am just having the worst time with my oiliness I keep trying to make my hourglass veil powder happen and like it is just not happening for me my skin has changed like I'm an oily girl now and it's like I have to relearn everything that I knew about makeup because it's all different now. Like I get oily all the time. It's the weirdest thing. Anyway, so I got this on sale for $15. I got the Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I was looking for the Morphe Sweet Tea Liner and I could not find it in store. I was going to buy it online, but I didn't. And then I also got this. I had to order this one online. Um, I picked those ones up in store, but I had to order this one online because they didn't have it in the store. Um, but I lost my flat iron and I cannot find it anywhere in this house. So I just bought a new one and of course I had to go with the Barbie one. It's so cute and it's my perfect, perfect shade of pink. I haven't even opened this yet, you guys. I haven't even looked at it. So look, it has a little Barbie logo. Beauty is being you. That is so cute. And look, it has the, let me see if you can see, sorry, it's really bright. It has the Barbie logo on it. It says it has a free two ounce Chi X Barbie Silk Infusion included inside. <laughs> you guys! Ah! It's so cute! Oh my gosh! I want to keep this box, but like I feel like I don't need to keep this box. What would I keep it for? <gasps> I almost don't even want to use it. <sighs> I love this. Oh my gosh. And then it comes with, this is like a mini size, but I have actually the, it's like a spray. I think you put it in your hair. It's supposed to be for volumizing when you blow dry your hair. Um, and I bought it, I think at Marshall's or something. Stuff that you put in your hair to make your hair kind of silky, which I need for sure. It comes with, so it comes with the owner's manual and it comes with this pretty much has like all the barbie products that they release so we have the the iron the volume booster that i said i got uh the silk infusion there's a curling iron uh there's a heat protectant and yeah and instructions like how to do your hair and it comes with the case too oh my gosh thank god oh my gosh you guys stop I did not know that it was gonna come with this. How cute is that? It's one of those little drawstring backpacks. Oh my gosh. I thought it was um I thought it was a little thing to put the flat iron in, like one of those heat protected ones. I definitely would not recommend putting a flat iron in there because it would probably burn. But holy mackerel, I love it. I cannot wait to use this. It's so cute. It's been so long since I've actually used a flat iron because I don't really wear my hair straight. I kind of wear it either waved or curled. Let's see what else I got. I ordered some stuff from Sephora. I did order the sample sizes because I didn't know how it was going to work out. I got the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer and I'm wearing that today and it's working really good. It's just this powder. This powder is not working for me because um, I did banana powder Monday and like my makeup stayed put in everything it was great I think that's going to be the one that I need to wear most often like I try to wear the ones that have a little bit of a glow in it because like I like my skin to look like skin and not super matte but like it's just not working for me when I wear something that has like a sheen to it it like my oil just comes through so I have to wear a matte powder and I really like it I uh, wish I would have got the full size for this but we'll see how long this lasts it on it's only like 0.33 ounces and the big the full size is a it's not even half you know like it's not even 0.5 um let's see I also got the Lancome Hypnos Drama I got it in waterproof because this is going to be my wedding day waterproof mascara 
I have the primer already that goes with it and this is the brush. I'm wearing it right now and wedding approved for sure. Okay. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury. I have been wanting this forever, but I never wanted to pony up the money. So finally I just just went for it and got it. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airlet Airbrush Flawless Finish. Um, I used it already, so it's got a little bit of like fingerprints on it. But I love Charlotte Tilbury. Like everything that she puts out is just, I love it. So I got this and I've been using it already. So it's going to look a little used. But I put it back in the packaging so I could show you guys. I have to play with it some more. I, I like it, but like... For me, figuring out what, how I'm going to use it. Like, I don't think I can set with it because I tried to set my makeup with it yesterday and I still got oily. So this one for me is not going to be a setting powder. It might be like a finishing powder, which I did today. I used it as a finishing powder and I liked it. But like I said, I still got the oil coming through. So it's. I, I think I'm going to have to set with my banana powder and then maybe do this over it. And then I also got the sample size of the Charlotte Tilbury. Am I doing it upside down? Yeah, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray because my sister has this one and she said that she swears by it. Her makeup stayed and yeah, I've been using this one too. So yeah. yeah. Okay, that's everything that I got from Sephora. Of course, they sent me some samples. This is the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Concealer. So I think I selected this one because I wanted to try the sample. And then they sent me this Valentino uh, perfume sample. And I don't like it. Okay, and then the last thing I got is my perfume. I... I love it so much. Okay, so this is from Diptyque and it came with a little bow on it. I don't want to take the bow out and I haven't decided if I'm going to take this whole thing because like, you know, I want the photographer to get it and everything. So I don't know if I want to take the whole box with it, but this is how it came with the beautiful tissue paper <laughs> and with the little, oh, I can smell it. I can smell it already. Okay. So it came with this little uh, card so you have the option of like putting a personalized note in there and I did so this is the little card it says diptyque and then I had it um I had him put once in a while right in the middle of an ordinary life love gives us a fairy tale happy wedding day oh, and I love that so I was gonna put that like in the box for the photographer to you know have a little have a little moment with that. I'm obsessed and I love this. I just think, I love it. I love it, love it, love it. So we have the pretty tissue paper. It's got the, um, like the logo and stuff embossed. I love it. And then, so it also came with this complimentary bag that also has the logo on it. You guys, if you have not tried Diptyque, I know it's expensive, but it's luxury and I love it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it came with this little drawstring and this is my wedding day perfume that I went with. This is called, I don't even know how you say it. It's in French, but this is it. I'll put it on the screen for you. And so like, I feel like the perfume bottles are very like minimal. They're not really anything special, but they smell amazing and so this is the packaging that it comes in and it smells like heaven so on the back it has a little um a little swan and it's so cute it smells so good you guys it just smells like a fresh rose garden it feels like an enchanted fairy tale princess moment and I love it it's just very um like natural and floral and very classy and elegant and then I also got this room spray like I guess said bay is it's b-a-i-e-s but bay is my favorite um candle from there so I got the room spray because originally I wanted to have some of those candles in there but you can't have live flame candles in there if they're not provided by Disney so 
I got this. So I'm going to spray my faux flowers with this. And this is so pretty. It's glass. I don't know if you can hear it. Um, and it's so pretty and it lasts like I sprayed this in my house like a day ago and I can still kind of smell it. So <sighs> it's so good. I sprayed it in my house. My husband was like, mm, that smells good, which is like my perfume is basically like this, but in a perfume, a uh, perfume version. And I'm not going to lie. I even like looked up if I could use this for body spray and, um, so the internet says that's not a good idea because like the room sprays and stuff aren't made for people to wear. So they have more alcohol content or something like that. So it's not good to have this on your skin and on your clothes or whatever. So I got the perfume and I got the room spray and I'm freaking obsessed. And they sent me some samples too, but I haven't got around to smelling those. Okay, that is everything that I have for my little haul right now. Yep, that's everything I got. And I'm going to go ahead and close out this vlog because I feel like it's going to be really long with all the stuff that I showed you guys. So that I just showed you guys. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.